Hey, it's Magnus here. Today, I thought we would make a titanium bottle opener. What we're gonna do, very quickly, is cut a sort of blank out of this bit of titanium here. That is gonna be done on the water jet cutter. Once we have done that, we'll be taking that blank and putting it on the milling machine here. First things first, cut the blank. Right, there we go. As you can see, it's ah, it's pretty rough. Um, that's just the, the, you know, that's the finish you get with the water jet cutter. This here, hopefully that focuses, that is what we call the tab. That's, that's to stop the, it's to stop the part falling out completely and falling to the bottom of the water jet cutter tank. Um, I've lost plenty of titanium pieces in the bottom of that tank. What I'm going to do is on the milling machine now. We're going to we're going to face it. We're going to get we're going to make it a sort of a, a standard, maybe say 11 mil thickness, and then we sort of take it from there. What I've got in here is basically uh, I've got a thing we call a set of soft jaws, and it's basically a way so I can clamp I can clamp this bottle opener sort of down at the bottom here and I can just mill over the top of it and skim the top and sort of get that side sort of nice and clean. That's the other thing. When you get titanium, if you take a look at that, you know, it's not a great finish. Like, I, I want a really nice finish. So, you know, obviously the sides are gonna be, are gonna be finished with a milling machine, but I want these faces to be nice as well. I actually filmed the process of making these soft jaws earlier, and by making, I mean two bits of aluminium and just made a little pocket, and that way, you know, there's a little step to grab this, and I will show you that now. <laughs> And so now it's time to skim. Okay, so that's one side done, or almost done. Now truthfully, it's not, still not the finish I'm after. Take a look at this. So while it is very, very smooth, um, it feels nice, you can't feel any lines or anything. You can still see them visually. Um, just not my thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, gonna do a little bit of sanding on it and then I'll show you and you'll be like, oh yeah, that's a lot better. Well, that's a plan anyway. Right, so I have just machined the other side and sanded the other side, and that is now both sides sanded and sort of fully finished, so I'm happy with that. 
out of interest, it is not 11 millimeters, it's 10.98, 10.99. Uh, I think I probably took a little bit off with the, uh, with the sandpaper, or maybe it just took too much off here. Don't know, it doesn't matter, it's a bottle opener, it's not going in like an aircraft or anything. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the milling machine, and we're gonna go around the outside, so I'll mill that, make it nice and smooth, get all that horrible sort of water jet sort of loop finish there, get the, rid of the tab, that kind of thing. Once we've done that, we're gonna put it on another part of the fixture and mill these, these little holes, mill the inside of these four things. Um, again, just like with this sort of fixture there, or those soft jaws, I prepared something earlier. What I did was make another set of soft jaws, so these are aluminium. I uh, don't know what grade, but they work. Um, <laughs> fluff. So these will go into the vise, and I'll tighten it up. Okay, and it's a little bit difficult to show you like this. So the first thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna tighten this up, clamp it on. This will then go on there, like that. And I'll bolt it down, and the milling machine will go around it, will go around the outside. And then once we do that, if I can get this thing off. I'll open up the jaws, put this in there, try and give you this demonstration here. That'll clamp round. It doesn't fit right now because we haven't machined off around here. It's a good fit for once it's machined, but not right now. Uh, and then, so we'll clamp it in here and mill out the middle. Right, so far, so good. Hopefully that's coming through okay. You can see it's nice and smooth. The top, oh look at that. There's a screw up. Ah, it didn't, um, it didn't clean that bit up very well. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Hmm, the only thing I can kind of come up with is that the Y offset is a little, a little bit off. So it didn't take, because it left a bit there, it almost certainly took too much off there. Um, to be honest, um, because this is sort of my first video um, in a long time on my YouTube channel, but also sort of the first where I'm, I'm trying to sort of make something, which is kind of like pushing my limits as it is, but trying to film it as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sort of, I'm just gonna put it on the sandpaper and just take that little bit off because that's, that's all, that's all there is really. You know, like it's not, it's not a big deal. You know, we can, we can fix it another time. Uh, the other thing is that if you look on here, you can see there's scratches right here. That's from where I use the gauge to, to set the height. And also, you can see the, where I, where I uh, screwed the two bolts, two machine screws down. You can see two sort of circles there. Uh, again, no big deal. Just, just sand that out. It's just very, very light. So what now? Sand the edge, sand around here, fix my little mistake there, and then machine the inside.
Okay, so now we are really getting somewhere. Um, provide a little screw up with the knot machine on the outside, the, the inside seems to have gone pretty well. Now the next bit is where, where, where it really sort of finishes the bottle opener, because as it is, I mean, it's okay. What I've got here is, I call it like a chamfer bit, I'm not sure if it is, or uh, I think it's also called a spot drill. Basically it'll put like instead of instead of the, the corner coming down like that, or you know when you look end on in the bottle opener, instead of any 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 of the edges being 90 degrees, it'll put a 45 degree a 45 a 45 degree angle on it. That's this bit here. Okay, so there we have it. I just quickly sanded each of the sides, getting looking nice again. As you can see, the the beveling or chamfering, it really um, it really sort of changes it from a sort of ugly looking halfway made thing to you know something um something sort of retail ready really. Now I have something to confess to you. Um, in case you you're thinking like, wow, Magnus. This is your first CNC project. What a what a blistering success! Not really. Uh, to get that bottle opener done, it has taken me it has taken me over sixty hours. Yes, six zero hours. Sixty hours. Um, like I I initially, if you have a look at this, I made some some uh, fixtures initially, like that. Completely failed. And then I made more fixtures like that, completely failed. And so those were like my, my third try at fixtures and you know finally got that working. And then there was all sort of offset issues and a whole lot of details I won't go into. I mean, take a look at these. That last one right there, that was number 20. 20 attempts to get this right. So, well, 19 and the 20th, which I knew would hopefully kind of work out today, but even then it didn't. Like, I miss skimmed that little bit. So, uh, maybe 21, I don't know. Would love to hear your feedback on this. Anything else you want me to make? I don't know, like, I'm, I'm gonna try and make more stuff. If you've got any questions, comments, uh, put them below and I'll see what I can do to answer them. And with that, I will, of course, leave you with a quote. It is by Stefan Diggs, and he said, Every day I come in with a positive attitude trying to get better.